Hey, Kevin here. The kind of theme with the vehicle is going to be all aluminum. So everything from the bumper, the sliders, the rear bumper, the camper shell, the roof rack, anything, the skid plates will all be aluminum on this vehicle to be lightweight. These are a 265 7516. Uh, I did the research and tried to figure out the biggest tire I could fit on a stock platform. I don't want to go extreme building this, so we have to clearance a little bit in the back fender here. So you have to kind of notch out a little bit of the steel pinch weld, called the pinch weld mod, and as well as the flare, you cut back a little bit of the body, and I painted it so it looks a little bit nicer and you can't really tell that I've uh, kind of cut it up. I do, I did notice that I clear the driver's side fine for turning, the passenger side I don't. Looking at the alignment um, lobes on the lower control arm for the alignments, the right side is about in the middle setting, the left side is turned all the way maximum inward, so it is pulling the tire towards the frame rail, so actually rub on the frame. I'm planning on trying to get the alignment shop to see if they can kind of cheat the alignment to get the frame clearance I need underneath there. If not, I think there is uh, adjustable upper control arms I can get and to get the alignment in the position so it clears the frame correctly. I went ahead and upgraded to the Bilstein uh, shocks on a one and a half inch riser. It's like 1.33 inch to level the vehicle out, but I plan on doing a full air ride suspension on this. So you can probably notice that there is a uh, nice uh, silver looking aluminum roof rack that I built for the vehicle. We plan on doing a three plus CVT rooftop tent, 72 or 77 inches Cross, so it's going to take up a considerable amount of space, so that's why I made the rack so big. That way I still have about a foot and a half of cargo up here, and about a foot and a half of cargo back here. Um, and then well, as well, we'll have the space underneath the rooftop tent for additional storage. Uh, there's very few choices for rear bumpers, and especially if you want to choose a choice of material to be aluminum. Now, the front bumper, there's a company called Illumines, and they make a pretty cool front bumper that's uh, you know not too reasonably priced over a steel bumper. But the rear bumper, I'm looking something a little more low-key low and sleek since uh, I was able to slightly modify the undercarriage to accept a, the 33-inch tire uh, in the factory spare location. So that frees me up to not have uh, an additional spare back here. So I plan to fit the uh, spare tire. All I really had to do was remove the uh, extra support fingers in the front here um, to allow the tire to move this way. And it actually fit, uh, cleared the rear axle diff. Um, and uh, yeah, I had to put a little extra support here on the top to keep the jiggling down with the extra weight of this tire. But other than that, uh, it was actually a really great fit. New to me at 191,000 miles, uh, one owner, California owned, so there's literally no rust and the interior was in really great shape, but after nearly 200,000 miles on the odometer, the driver's seat was pretty tore up. So actually I was able to source a replacement foam as well as I replaced some of the interior plastic pieces that were broken uh, to you know give it a more freshened up look. Uh, WeatherTech uh, molded, custom molded floor mats um, for the vehicle. And the only mod I'm going to be doing, which I haven't done yet, is called the gray wire mod, which since this is a TRD, it comes with a factory rear electronic differential locker, and which is only engaged, able to be engaged in four wheel drive. Uh, but there's sometimes you want to engage it anytime, two wheel drive or whenever you want to do it. And there is a I believe it's a ground wire to ground and the controller for it to signal that it is in four wheel drive and allows you to engage that electronic locker through the factory switch uh, anytime you want. So that'll be pretty much the only mod I have in there besides adding some electrical equipment for ham radio or navigation mounts like ram mounts and stuff. But 